everyone, welcome to TL Physics, and today I'm going to talk about a discharging capacitor. So the formula in your data sheet for a discharging capacitor is Q equals Q naught E to the minus T over R C. Okay, so this here is the charge at the time. This here is the maximum charge. And this here, of course, is the time constant. And what I want to do today is I would like to find this value for C here. All right? So I know the charge at the thing is 1 coulomb. My charge at time T is 0 0.25 coulombs. And my time is 1.15 seconds. And I want to find my value for C using this formula. Okay? So let's put in the information I know. I know that 0 0.25 equals 1 times e to the minus 1.15 over r, which is, I'm just going to leave rc there at the moment, because it's much easier to do this right at the end. So the first thing I must do is try to get this part here on its own before I do anything with natural logarithms. So I'm going to divide this through, and I'm going to end up with 0 0.25. So 0 0.25 divided by 1 is, of course, 0 0.25 equals e to the minus 1.15 over RC. And then I'm going to natural log both sides. And by natural logging both sides, I remove the E and leave the power. So I go LUN 0.25 equals the LUN and the E cancel each other out, and I am just left with the power of 1.15 over RC. Okay? So putting this in, LUN 0.25 is that there is minus 1.3. Uh, 9 equals minus 1.15 over RC. So RC equals minus 1.15 over minus 1.39, which is 0.8283. There you go. So 0 0.83 is R times C. If I know R is 2 kilo ohms, I'll be able to work out C from this. So 2 times 10 to the 3 times by C is 0 0.83. C is... Oops. 0.83 divided by 2 times 3. Is 415 micro farads okay so that there is 415 microfarads so what i've done here is i've used the discharging capacitor formula to find the time constant and one of the things i do do if i knew both r and c i would times these together to make a smaller number instead of leaving it all kind of gumpy however because i don't know c i actually leave the rc to the end i don't put any numbers in for this till the end now what about, instead of charges, they give you potentials? Or they give you currents instead? Well, I know that my capacitance is constant. So therefore, I know C is Q over V. So Q is directly proportional to V. Which means I can take this formula and replace it with this. I also know R is constant, because it's a time constant. And because I know V and I are proportional, so that V is proportional to I, I can also then change this formula to this. So that there is other formula you can use, and these two are not on your data sheet, but you can just replace them. Now, what about if we change the question here? So this was just to find the time here. I want to, let's do another one now. Same circuit. So I've got 2 kilo ohms and 415 microfarads. And I want the time when I am at 80% discharged. So this means I only have 20% left. And in some questions, they may not give you the initial charge. 
or the maximum charge. So what I actually do here is I cheat a little bit. I go that Q0 is 100, okay? And my charge at time two, so 80% has gone, so all I am left with is 20%. Okay, so since 80% has gone, I'm left with 20%. I know that R is 2 times 10 to the 3, and C is 4, 15 times 10 to the minus 6. Okay, so my time constant RC is... is 0.83, okay? So I'm trying to find this t. So I know 20 is 100 e to the minus t over 0.83. I get this part on its own. So 20 over 100 is e to the minus t over rc. So that there, 20 divided by 100 is 0 0.2. And now I'm going to natural logarithm both sides, which cancels out this E. So, so minus 1.61 equals minus T over 0.83. So T equals 1.34. Okay, and this actually kind of makes sense because I'm asking for when 20 is left, and that took 1.34 seconds, and it took 1.15 seconds to get to 25%. So it looks about right. Now, if I was going to graph this, this is what it would look like. Here's my charge, here's my time, and this is what a graph would look like. With this value here, would be my maximum charge there. So what I've done is shown you the discharging formula. So this is when the electric field has been removed, so the switch is off, and the electrons will start flowing around the circuit there. Okay. That there is how to use the discharging formula, how to relate it to voltage and current, and also how to use it if they only go percentages. So that there is the capacitor discharging formula.